Hello, everybody, and welcome to Albert's Voice and everything else. Well, I guess this would be considered everything else. This is a gateway laptop. I got this. I just picked this up out it last night. I was kind of edging to get one. This is a two-in-one, so this is a touch screen. Right. I just opened it up. I know nobody want to look at boring paper unraveling and all that stuff. So I guess this is the power supply in the box. I don't know. I doubt it would be 4K. Look <laughs> at this thing here. Let me see. So, it looked like this. This is touch screen, so this is whole, the whole screen flips backwards. Let me, that would be kind of hard to do right now to show you. So, you get a free Windows 11 upgrade with this. I mean, it's only $199. I mean, they have $179. So, $20 more for the touch screen. I already get the touch screen. Because I already got... I can't show you. I have a Chrome OS. It's the same size, but it's not touch screen. I got it for one twenty uh, last year. But I thought this would be a good deal to get. Uh, this has what does this have? Eleven point six HD display. Okay, so it's thirteen six six by seventy. So it's HD. Okay, Windows ten Home, and and then we got sixty four gig of storage. 4 gig of RAM, 1.5 camera, battery up to 8.5. It's all right. Because it, this is basically my go-to laptop. Because compared to my 15-inch, which I bought from Target back in 2012, so heavy and massive. I mean, it's this works. I mean... Hi, and welcome to Albert's Voice and everything else. So, this is the um, Gateway laptop that I ended up purchasing a few days ago offline. And picked it up at the, at the local, one of the local Walmart stores because I couldn't find it anyplace else. Let me uh, mute that. You can hear the sound is very good on this. That's my own music and my own channel. This is my Albert's official music video channel. Okay. Um, right now, I'm just making videos. I don't have no channel f to show off my videos like what I'm doing here. When I get something, I'll take a video. So this is what I'm doing right now. So we're focusing on this laptop from Gateway. Okay. Yes. So you can see the touch screen works. Let me tilt it a little bit closer so you can see. So one of the newer videos I have this is shot in 4K. I'm going to blow it up. And you can clearly see. I mean, this is the highest you can go in 4K on YouTube. 2160, uh, 2160 P, 4K. So you can... Um, We're using Wi-Fi. You see the video is flowing smooth, smoothly. Now, if you want to use this in tablet mode, there you go. So it's saying right here, did you want to use tablet mode? And I said, yes. So we're switching in tablet mode. So now it's in tablet mode. And you can access. Oh yeah, you get Office uh, 365. It comes for one year for free. I already have it. I've been paying for it on subscription. I really don't pay that much for it. Like, <laughs> I can't really say what I'm paying. There are some apps that are included. I haven't removed those yet. Oh, look at that. There's THX. Let's see. Let me see. I haven't really looked at that. Oh, it takes you to the Gateway THX site. Oh, you have to sign up for it. 
I haven't done anything yet. This laptop is supposed to have, this laptop tablet is supposed to have that feature in there. Let me close out of that. Okay, so this is the tablet mode. So, oops, there's my video. Hit play. The only thing with this is So you can see, can you see that? I should try to tilt this closer. There you go. So I have a few videos already. Let me get out of the screen. Okay, hold on a second here. I'm gonna use it in tablet mode too often. The tablet is different. Yes, I'm gonna go back. I'm gonna exit tablet. Switch out. Oh, I know what's wrong. Oh, oh my goodness. Okay. I'm going to show you the zooming and everything. You can zoom things up. But, you know, I don't want to show too much stuff with copyright material. I don't have, um, let me see something here. Hold on, I'm gonna pause this video. Okay, what I want to show you is how responsive this device is. Uh, zooming, this is just a photo. This is my own creation, so I'm showing. Okay, so with the uh, Microsoft 365, this is personal edition. I'm, I'm already, I have the full edition, but the personal edition comes with Word, um, Excel, and uh, let's see what else this says. Uh, PowerPoint, and Outlook, and one terabyte of storage for uh, for cloud, which is very good. A terabyte, you will never go through that. Most people, on average, that's more for business. But I have the full package. I have everything that you get, but. When I installed this, and I, it already knew, I had, when I logged in into my own account, it knew that I already had the 365 subscription that we've been paying for per month. And so now it told me, hey, you got one year for free. <laughs> so, hey, that's good for me. <laughs> you won't pay month, take it out monthly. But that's this is very responsive to that. That's, re that's pretty quick. This is like a, what is it? I think it's a, a um, it goes up to 2.8 gigahertz for a processor, but it's set out of the box at 1.110 uh, 1 gigahertz. They do that to save power. You can go into the BIOS and change it, or you can force it out of balance. Because right now it's balancing, say, it's the battery. I can get 10 hours, of, uh, over 10 hours of the battery out of, out of this thing. You got, uh, you get um, USB 3.0. There's two USBs. There's a, there's a headphone jack, you know, 3.5 headphone jack. There's a micro SD slot. Uh, yeah, up to 512 gig. You have an on and off switch on one side. On the other side, you have the, three point, the USB 3.0. Uh, you have... Uh, power adapter connector, and you have the uh, the mini HDMI. I have a lot of those, because uh, I had a lot of tablets. I need to 
write code for Android tablets. So I have a lot of those cables. You can get one from like Amazon Basic, basic Dirt Cheap. You don't have to really go crazy. Oh, you can go in the store and get it. I'm sure Walmart has it. There's nothing on the back. And that's it. And on the back here, it's showing you the processor and Windows 10 logo on the back here. And the specs. There's nothing on the bottom. There's no extra ports. So this is... Uh, I also have Albert's voice solar. This is from for, for the Go Power Plus. This is when I was testing the Go Power Plus on my high definition TV in the living room. So let me post on this. This is very responsive. Let me get out of this. Um, I can only show you let's see. It's a villa. And these are like a little little places on the on the ocean. Let me get out of that. I want to show you. This is my uh, sixty watt solar panel box, which you can clearly see. You can read the text even if I zoom it up so close. This is, it's not bad though. You can even see the creases in the box too. So even though the box says HD, you're getting, they're giving you UHD. Just like the TV in the back you see around there. That's my high definition TV, which is actually hooked up to I have to um, see these again. I'll have to open up. Hmm. Okay. Oh, this is my channel. So this is my own stuff. I was going to show you how the, my video looking 4K on the TV, but but it's yeah. So you you this can be hooked up to the high definition TV through the HDMI, and you can run 4K on your TV from this. And you close this up, and you hook hook this keyboard up to this, which has a dongle. You just plug in the into the USB port on the side, and the dongle it's right underneath the TV. So no matter how far this is, this is a Logic Tech. Um, Keyboard, wireless keyboard. You have um, touchpad mouse. This is good. Very good to work with this one, and, and very inexpensive. I got a whole bunch of these in the house. But back to the back to the laptop here. So let me see. I'll try to give you an example. Let me see if we can open up something here. Hold on. Let me um, pause this again. So what I did is I um, opened up Word. 365. This is one of the stories I write. I, I was doing um short fictional short stories. I was doing that back in the twenties before I started to do the music. I mean, I, now and then I write a story or something like that. I do a lot of stories. Um, um, voice, soft whisper. It'd be like, I, uh, like I'll say the next thing I'm doing is this. Like that, I'll be doing it. That's what Asmar. I I do that with this. So this is it. So this is how it works. See, you can zoom up. This is my own material. This is this is written, so my name is here. So, okay. And I believe... Oh. I thought she could... She's supposed to be able to say it back to me. Let me see something. Let me see if I... Let me see. Hmm. 
Well, here we go. I'm actually supposed to be able to, to play back the voice. I don't use that feature too often. Let me see something here. Um, all right, forget about that. I'll show that another time. I don't do it do that too often. Maybe another time I'll show all that off. But I know she can. I know this can. Um, I just want to show you how how fast it scrolls up. There's no slouchiness. And you can go you can do both views. That's why it's better to get these with a tablet feature. And even if you want to use a laptop only, you know, you can and it'll go right back to laptop. I'll ask you, did you want to go to out of you're leaving the uh, tablet mode, did you and you said yes. And here you go here. Home. This one here. Home. And you can scroll that way. But you can see, so with the landscape mode, this is the space that you have. If you want to go in, and you can use the tablet to hold in your float. Hey, okay. Okay, auto rotation is on. There we go. Then you can, you know, scroll. Let's see. I wrote another said the girl I talked to online. This is a story I wrote. The girl I talked to online. I I never published. I never released it. But this is one of the stories I was working on. Yeah. So, like I said, you got. Horizontal, horizontal, or was it portrait mode? And you get here, and it's very easy to rotate. Let me see, because in my office here, we have a large forty-six inch screen for um, landscape, and then we have a twenty-seven inch monitor hooked up to that on the side of it, and I have this side. This comes in very handy if you want to look at the the internet. In a portrait mode, or you want to edit stuff, or or you when you want to bring up your YouTube channel and you can see all, all your videos lined up there. That's how this comes in handy. Hmm. Okay. So, all right. So let me. Then here, look at this. Look what you can do. You can go like this. You see that? Let me show that. There you go. And you can work on your document. Or you can do a presentation. You see? Having it um, angled like this. This is the way it is. But this is the tablet mode. So the key, I, the keyboards in the back, they are, let's see, you wouldn't be using them. This has its own keyboard. Let's see here something here. I don't want to really touch too much of this. See? A keyboard will come up and you can type and you can edit. You can type. Just like you do with your phone. And Word will automatically, because I have auto save on. So anything I do, it automatically saves it. So, you know, if you know how to work Word 365, which comes included with this tablet. Okay. So remember, you only got 64 gig of storage. Um, it's really 61 gig. Uh, but actually, you have 57 free. But when you load stuff, you know, when you get the next... Now, this is the full version of Home. Now, it comes... Oh, we got it. It, it comes with um, uh, Windows 10 S. With the Windows 10 S, you can't download anything and install it. And that's it. You have to go from the uh, Microsoft Store and do it. 
So I don't want to do that. I want to access my NAS. This is where this stuff comes from. This comes from a network storage device in the house. Okay, let me, um, hold on a second. Let me get out of this. All right. Let me back to my uh, default desktop. So this is for, uh, for the uh, tablet mode. So let me switch out of the tablet mode. You should ask me if I want to come out. Yes, I'm gonna get out of the tablet mode. Down for now. I usually run these programs. This is from Wise. This is Wise Games Booster. All right, I'll wait for it to load. It'll tell me it found twelve issues already on the on the on the uh, on the laptop here, and this will tell you how it gauged this performance. I hit optimize all, and it will it saves me. Hmm. One gig, uh, one megabyte free. So it's 1,389 free of megabytes and, and RAM free. You have a system optimizer. Most of this is done when you first use it. And then you run this. It normally does it automatically. It'll be, and it'll, it'll tell you what you eat up enough RAM, enough um, Chrome is still running. So close Chrome, close Chrome, close Chrome, close it. And it's closed. Now, that's just one part. You still have to clean it. So you run Rise 365. I'm not promoting them. I'm just, their software is very good. This will, you run this button and it'll run. It'll see what, it'll take any um, privacy traces on your uh, browsers and whatever information is stored. It'll look for useless files. It'll do the registry. It'll do everything. Now it's telling you it found uh, 18, in 18 seconds, it found 3,258 3, issues. So we just hit fix it. And that's it. This is the uh, pro version. The free, you know, you're going to have some limitations. If you want to go further, you can scan the registry. But the, the most common problem is in here. This is the whole system. So this is called system clean. You scan this. So it found 24 files, a total of 65.64 megs and two traces of effect. You hit clean, that's how quick that is. <laughs> Then you have advanced cleaner. If you really, really want to go deep cleaning, let's see. Okay. This will take a little long because it's going to go deeper into the files. Okay, it found 113. So you clean that. Then you have system summing. So whatever you download for um, like updates for Windows, you want to reduce it. Right now, this is on 16 megabytes, this is nothing. When you run this, it'll slim down, it'll automatically create a system restore point on your system. So when you go to restore, say Windows didn't load, you wanna restore your system, that's what you do. This um, this inside here is a SSD. I already looked it up, it, it's called, they call it a Binwin, but it's basically a SSD in here. Um, it's actually a chip. It's not really um, um, SSD, you know, it's not like a small hard drive, but it's not a hard drive. It's a circuit, it's a circuit um, component you, they, they use. And that's what they use on this is 64 you make. But it's pretty quick. And, and you got system monitor, monitor the system. The only feature you wouldn't use on this is this defrag because this is a chip. You'll just you you'll ruin it. Then you have startup menu, and this you can see it'll it'll tell you what's running in the startup here. That's speed up actually, and you have the startup. And I I have a couple of things disabled. I know some things try to 
here we go again. Yeah, it, it tries to install itself again. But I usually start, and that's how the startup speed is quick. Another toy they have too is this is from a different company. I I hope it let me see if I can get this going. I'll show you, which is good to have. When you get everything going on this device, you want to make sure. Okay, that's Game Boost. I don't want Game Boost. I wanted the other one. This is Driver Booster. What this will do, hit scan, it'll scan all your devices and see if the driver is up to date. Now, this is the free version. So, and it's, it'll still do it. And it'll tell you the, to get the Pro, and the Pro adds more features, but you don't really need that. This is what I use. Boost. Boost, you got boost, you got performance. You can scan with this, whatever 365 miss. Watch this. I don't have a lot of time because, oops, oh. you're yeah, running out of space already on the phone. Okay, I'm gonna stop this. What well, this will do, it will clean this unit out. Can I run certain? Can I run certain games? You would hit this. And this will tell you, this is an Intel UD Graphics 600. It doesn't say that on the box. So you say, and this tells you the processor. is an N4020 CPU. But it can run up to uh, 2.8 gigahertz. But you'd have to change it. This thing can make you run faster if you want to go that far. Uh, this is how much memory is left. Out of the 4 gig, and you're getting 3.8. That's not bad. And you got Windows 10 Home 64-bit. Then you have a guard feature here. It'll run a security guard to say, okay, so the, the PC is fully protected. A count guard will scan it, and it all can die, and that's the problem. But the main thing with that is you can boost the system with that, too. Let me make sure that's not running. Oops. Okay, it's running. I don't want them running. Oops. No, I don't need to have that. Okay, let me close that out of that. I want to make sure those things are not running in the background. Do it the old fashioned way, but that thing's so miniaturized. I don't want that running in the background. Okay, exit that, exit that. You know, we don't need everything. Okay, this has Bluetooth. So if I have these are my Bluetooth, it's my Bluetooth. Um, these are called Power Buds. Amazfit makes these. I'm not advertising. I'm just showing you. <laughs> so I'm not, I'm not getting no promotion on this. And these go, and this is left and right. These are very, this also monitors your um, your heart, just like the watch from Amazfit. I'm not promoting it. I'm just, just letting you know. So these are Bluetooth. So this would work with this. If I don't just listen to music, you know, like you're in an office or you're on a plane, you know, whatever you want to do. That's it. This unit is not bad, you know? It is not bad. Um, let me um, shut down. Okay, and we're gonna turn it back on again. Okay, let me turn it back on. The on off switch is on your right. You hold on to it, it'll come back. It has built in and here's Windows 10. It, it boots up very quickly. You press F2 to go into the BIOS, but I'm not gonna show you on this. Yeah. <laughs> See, that's very quick. Yeah. Well, that's it. Then all I have to do is flip up and type in my password, and that's pretty much it. That's it. So this is this is this is it for um for we're showing off the gateway two in one laptop tablet. And you get this at Walmart. I think Amazon has this too. The Amazon version is a little different. They have the pen, but you pay for that now. This I only paid $199. There's another model at Walmart without the touch screen and just the keyboard. And, and, and that's it. That's $179. But for just twenty dollars more, you get the touch screen. I think it's well worth it <laughs> because 
The closest thing to this I have here, I didn't get to show you last time. Let's see if I can add this. Go back there. Is this is an iPad. I have a laptop. I paid twenty three dollars for this. Close. See, it, it comes. It comes right out. This is the iPad. This is the shell. I put it back in. This is Bluetooth. This is how this works. You could rot rotate this like this. You can go like that. That's that asking me for my password. And this is, and you carry it like that. And this is it. And it has a stand. You can flip this back just like like that, and you have a stand. See, it works a little different. I mean, you could. I don't know if you can. I guess you. Could, yeah, I guess this is how it would have to work. This is designed differently. So you can charge your iPad and you can charge this base because this has to be charged as well. So here's here's another one. Let me quickly show you this. And this is the Chrome the Chrome OS. This is an Acer. And this is what Chrome OS. I changed the background. But this is not touchscreen. <laughs> I goofed on that. I want a touchscreen. For touchscreen was like ten dollars more at the time. I wish I'd known. But I didn't see it. So I jumped on this. Uh, I saw this for 120. So I jumped. So I jumped on this. Yeah. It's not bad. This too is 4K UD. Yeah. This one goes a little higher than this one. I think they both go about the same. I really haven't tested this high, anything higher. I think, oh yeah, this goes up to a three 3,000 something. So this is full 4K on this one here. Yeah. So, oh yeah, and uh, they are both. This one's heavier than this one here. I think the reason why it's heavy is because of what they have, what components they use, but it's really heavy. Uh, this has, this is a little different. This has Type C, and um, this is uh, USB 3.0, but both ports are USB 3.0. This is a, this is a little different because it's Chrome. You know, it's it's Chrome OS and. You got a Windows tab. It's a little different. But there you have it. Well, thanks for watching. And you guys take care now. Bye-bye. Oh, yeah. Don't forget to subscribe. But right now, right now um, there's nothing to subscribe to. But if you go to any of my channels, don't forget to, you know, if you like anything, say, you know, thumbs up. And you subscribe. Take care now, everybody. Bye-bye.